Hey guys, welcome to the weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous week beginning August the 11th. I'm Lindsay Mack, and the card that I've pulled for us this week is Two of Cups. So this card is really sweet. Um, definitely a deep promise of unification, of coming together with something really beautiful, someone, something. Um, Two of Cups is really kind of an offering of ourselves, of our cup, so to speak, our hearts, our souls, to something else, someone else, um, and the mutual offering back from that someone else, from that something else. So I'm going to tell you that this week <clears throat> it doesn't have anything to do with anything external. This week, Two of Cups is working completely internally. Um, with regard to the dualities and the identities that we have within ourselves. This card is coming in to unify those, especially around the area of the shadow. So what I mean by that, and what's really at the heart of this, is that we all have places within ourselves, identities, aspects, qualities, that are stuff we don't prefer stuff we might be a little ashamed of, stuff we try to kind of beat away, stuff away. Um, the Two of Cups is actually about really embracing those parts, really not only saying like, okay, I'll live with you, but actually embracing them, loving them up because they're us. They're just us. They're another part of us. One of the biggest master classes on this planet without question is the embrace of the shadow self. And I'm talking like two of cups comes up around this stuff that we most wish we could change about ourselves. That we most, most wish would change. That we most wish was different. The deep stuff. I'm talking about the stuff you got triggered by probably when you were 11 or 12 years old even. All of that stuff comes up in the Two of Cups to be healed so that we can actually offer this cup of the heart to those aspects, sweep them up in our arms and embrace them. So I'm gonna let you in on a, I wanna say, I'm not sure if it's a secret, but it's certainly a wise understanding. Only when we embrace the stuff inside of us that we have the most trouble with, are we free to change it? So let's take weight, for example, if that's something that you're really struggling with, weight, extra weight. You're not gonna lose a thing unless you love your body, unless you actually begin the process of loving your body as it is right now, instead of punishing it or forcing it to f eat something that it doesn't really want to. Um, because your body also doesn't really want the ice cream. Your body doesn't really want ice cream. It's just a brain chemistry thing. It's just a craving. And your life doesn't have to be ruled by a craving. So once you have that simple understanding, you're at choice. When you really understand it's not exactly the ice cream that your brain wants. It just feels really good. It's a, it's a strong craving that you carry. Once you really know that, you're free to make a decision. So it's the exact same thing with any aspect of the shadow. Weight will fly off if that's really what you want and if that's what's in highest and best for your body when you're really loving your body up. I promise you that it will. Um, if that's what's meant to be for your body. And it's the exact same thing with the parts of us that we feel a little awkward about, maybe our social anxiety, maybe whatever. Whatever our thing is. Two of Cups actually gives you the opportunity to offer a cup to those parts of you. And in doing so, you're unifying a duality within the self. You're welcoming in more parts. It's almost a way of doing a little soul retrieval with yourself. A soul retrieval for the heart. Which, by the way, has been coming up. There was kind of similar medicine happening last week. This week is a little different. Two of Cups is much more active. Um, you have to make an active... Um, you have to actively say yes to Two of Cups and make offers to yourself. So where you would usually, um, you know, 
kind of ignore something or let something eat away at you about your behavior, about something else, really embrace it. Do some work on it. It's going to be a really powerful opportunity to do some beautiful work inside. Um, again, stuff, shadow stuff, will hang out until you embrace it as your own kind of little kid inside. It's hanging out the way that it's hanging out because it's waiting for us to mother it or father it. It's waiting for us to parent it. Um, it's not weakness to parent the inner child. It's actually the most whole women and men have really good, solid relationships with their inner children. And if they're not great, they're trying. So Two of Cups, believe it or not, is actually kind of a way in there. Because, and I've said this before, you cannot accept anything. A compliment, love, affection, attention. You cannot accept anything from another person until you're willing to accept it for yourself. So if you're dealing with a weight issue and you can't possibly assume how anyone would think that you're beautiful or that you would be beautiful at a certain weight, you're not going to be able to accept a compliment from someone who loves your body. You're just not. So what do we have instead? We start with us, then our life is free to change. So really focus on those areas of your life you can't possibly imagine loving. Dive into those first and then see how things shift. It has the potential to be very, very powerful this week with that. So see where the dualities are in your life and where you can offer some love to them. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.